Hi everyone, uh, Evgeny Kim, uh, Test Pro Channel, and today I have a special guest, Lydia. And actually, uh, um, the way how we met each other was very interesting, right? Yes, that's um, right. So basically, uh, as you probably know, I announced that I'm looking for companies and I want to collaborate with uh, leaders in a software QA field to collaborate with, um, with our students so our students can get a practice from those companies. Lydia, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, okay, my name is Lilia Fry, and I'm originally from Russia, a city called Nabizhne Chilny. Wow. Please look it up on the map. It's a beautiful <laughs> city. Um, and I've been in the United States for 23 years, in all that time in Los Angeles. Um, and uh, my background, I would say, back then in 1997, I started uh, developing website. I self-taught myself. I was so enamored with developing websites right. it's like um uh, creating magic mm -hmm. so and i started with that and after that i am um, kind of found developers in russia and started a company where i would develop websites for clients mm -hmm. i was always um passionate about the quality quality of the product mm -hmm. especially digital products one time i received uh, an invite from um, a company mm -hmm. uh, utes they wanted me to test um, uh, their um, uh, video stream uh, of a certain mm -hmm. application and so i kind of got involved and i like the community and i would highly recommend anybody who is um, trying to get more experience with quality assurance and testing understanding all their methodology uh, to go uh, sign up uh, for you test and just look at their library they have a huge library so much information about uh, different uh, uh, method of testing and different tools utilizing those tools and you meet people from all over the world anyone can go and sign up yes and start for, getting yes projects and they're going to be paid for that uh not immediately uh first you sign up because they don't know you, uh, you have to go through the academy. <clears throat> so where they train you how to use their system. You go through the academy, which is uh, it's free, but uh, they don't pay you. And uh, they kind of rate you. You get a certain rating, uh, rating based on bugs that you're going to find and file. You have to establish relationships. Like in any business, any organization, you have to establish relationship with people in upper management. Uh, like in new tests in the plaza, it's important to know test architects and test engineers. So I started immediately create those relationships uh, and how you do it on any project you work at, you can see the contact information right. of test architects, test engineer, and uh, you what you do at the end of the cycle i would write them a thank you note and i would tell them how much i enjoyed it and very smart yeah please very keep smart. me in mind and with test engineers i would talk uh, like a create a relationship throughout the cycle where, where we run it and i even offer my help like how can i help you um, and often when the cycle runs so many testers have questions and in the chat i would answer to those testers even I didn't have to, but I would always answer and help them assist them, assist them with some issues or problems. Uh, so that, and another thing what I did, I started writing articles. I wrote a few articles at UTEST Plus and sort of inspirational articles, um, uh, more like a, in sense of how to believe in yourself and That's awesome. yeah, and how to handle, let's say, you have you're working for U Testa Plus and you have a regular day job. How to handle you know m multiple um, projects and multiple you know um, streams um, revenue streams. Right, right. Yeah. That's, so that's what I did. That's awesome. I mean, you should guys take the notes, take the notes, <laughs> and uh, it's extremely hard from the beginning to uh, to get paid, and once you get paid 
you get paid very little, which is yeah, kind of true. discouraging, right? That's true. It's yeah. it's like you kind of do a lot of work, that's true, and you got just very little, right? Yeah. And I think that's where people starting getting off, mm -hmm. uh, and they dropping off. Mm -hmm. I mean, they on the platform. Their, on, yeah. the, on the platform. Yeah, that's true. Can you? I mean, what I see from your perspective, you took it seriously on some another level. So I mentioned that you were very proactive, but how did you overcome those, the first like maybe month, two months when you start getting paid and getting paid well? Like besides that you did uh, proactive steps with uh, establishing relationship, uh -huh. did you do some special techniques with finding bugs or like can you can you okay that? so here's the secret about um, u-test i'll tell you first of all you have to focus there are so many projects you can work on right i would focus on those based on their previous list of bugs if its majority were rejected or accepted mm -hmm. If uh, the, the structure of this particular cycle or that team, how they run their cycle, they prefer to reject bugs, I would not join or, or I would join if I know that's their reputation. I don't want anything to do with them. There is no potential for me to grow. I'll move on. I would look for project where I see mostly green and that green means actually yeah. approved, bugs approved bugs versus red, it's rejected. Wow. So, and then I uh, looked and I would focus and work with those teams and make sure I have great relationship because usually um, a test engineer decides who to invite to the cycle. And if you have a great relationship, they want to throw those projects at you. And what also happens, they kind of send you invite before they send to somebody else. So that way you have like a, an advantage and you can find and report bugs earlier. So it's all about relationships and right. connections. After you become a team lead, how did you become, um, I mean, what was your path to become a manager? Um, okay, so uh, I, I worked as a team lead for a long time, I would say like two years there. and. Um, and I enjoyed it. It was fantastic. I worked on multiple projects at the same time and they're great. And also I felt like I needed to grow and learn more. And that's when I joined a security team. Uh, they do lots of security testing, but to get into that team, it's not that easy. First of all, you have to go through lots of training. They offer training, which it's free. They teach you how to use a WASP ZAP testing security tool and Burp Suite mm -hmm. and Postman, uh, those three. Uh, and um, you have to be also US citizen. Um, yeah, you cannot be just a green card holder. Mm -hmm. And they run a background check on you uh, for a few weeks before they um, send you an invite for a test cycle. Because as a security engineer, security tester, you have access to some private information mm -hmm. Yeah, that you shouldn't have. So uh, that was actually a great experience. I'm grateful for that. Um, and um, again, to get into that security team, I had to create connection with some people in the upper management and kind of, uh, you know, ask them, uh, can you give it, me a chance? I want to learn. Uh, uh, I want to join the cycle. So it's all about relationships, I'd say there. Um, and then also I got into uh, automation testing team and there uh, a plus for some reason doesn't have much work in automation unfortunately they kind of focus on manual testing uh, so there was not much work there and um, that's when I s decided I should look for a job elsewhere um, and at the same time I started learning <clears throat> AWS um, Amazon Web Services, cloud mm -hmm. computing, um, because 
that's where I see the future of technology. That's where we're moving towards. Right. So we're, we're moving towards uh, uh, serverless, you know, uh, scalability. Uh, uh, everything is automated, running by itself. Um, that's why I started to learn, just study at home to understand what AWS is. And it's a huge kind of um, a vast uh, um, a platform. There is mm -hmm. 250 services, oh, yeah. 250 oh, yeah. tools. Um, so it looks like your learning curve was never stopped, right? That's right. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I just listened to you, you know, like you went through a uh, regular tester on you test became, you became a um, team lead then you became a uh, security tester which is actually a privilege and then you start learning AWS at the same time right yes that's right and then you landed other jobs right uh, no I actually landed no I still worked at the plus and I landed this job uh, as a manager of quality assurance engineering it's at Penny Mac um, yeah just recently that's awesome but it took me it, it was an overnight success uh, I'd say it took me a few months to get this job I started looking a few months ago and um, Here's the tip I have for job seekers. Um, don't be afraid to go out there and start uh, searching for a job before you know it all. It's impossible to know everything. And one thing I realized, what I've been studying and preparing, uh, it was completely different when you go out there and you have interviews. Uh, what they require is, uh, is the different tools. Right. And what I realized, I have learned what is needed through job interviews. And what I would recommend is start searching and applying to the companies far away from your home or where you're looking just for the sake of experience. I want you to get experience and uh, try to um, kind of apply for a position you're exactly looking for and maybe below that or above to understand where do you fit in I exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and another thing which is important, um, know your value, know your best qualities. Uh, and um, one thing I'll tell you is um, you have to open the right door. And what I mean by door is um, you can knock on multiple doors and they'll be closed because there was not your doors. So you need to find your door that will open up right away and you'll just easily come mm -hmm. in. And that's what happened for me after I had a mental shift. Mm -hmm. And how I changed my mentality, I realized that um, I need to embrace who I am. What's my best qualities? What can I bring to the table? I cannot focus on a salary or um, you know working with these tools. I need to see what I have currently right now, let's say without studying anything else, uh, and how can I fit in? And when I figure that out, it kind of gave me a focus and perspective. I realized that I've been creating teams and leading people throughout my life for two decades that I should focus on uh, QA managers roles and sort of uh, bring that to the table. And when I did that, all those kind of, uh, you know, other roles, they f felt like, you know, um, it, they were not not my doors mm -hmm. and as soon as I realized that that I should embrace myself and the qualities that I have I started getting so many um, interviews right. it, it was just insane um, I would get from you know uh, phone calls to immediately on site uh, and just I would say within a couple of weeks I had seven on-site interviews Wow. 
And uh, as, as soon as I got this job offer for Penny Mac, um, I went to another company and they absolutely loved me and they start talking about the job offer and then I went to another and they said too they, they want to uh, give me an, give offer. an offer. Yeah, but Penny Mac was very fast. They kind of were very proud. You accepted that and you... Yes. You, all yeah. Right. That's, that's incredible a result. I'm unbelievable. Thank you. Could you please tell Justin and like what would you recommend to our new people who is looking for a job or maybe who wants to become a QA right now? Or, or, or they, they, they didn't decide yet. Like, is it should they try it or should they not? Like, you know, uh, I would say, first of all, you have to watch uh, Test Pro YouTube channel. Sign up, then. yes, uh, sign up. Uh, watch all their videos. Their videos were absolutely uh, pivotal for me to find a job. And I'm uh, extremely grateful to you. Thank you. And for all the work that you do and putting it out there for others, uh, it helped me a lot, uh, especially to know what kind of questions could be asked, how to answer, how to present yourself, and just to learn how what other people's experience were. Right. So that's incredible. And also their school, uh, your school, uh, I would highly recommend it. Um, Sign up. <laughs> I, I have a lots of friends who went through it and found jobs because of them. And not only that, uh, you guys provide such a great support system. And it's so important when you're looking for a job, you need like a support system who helps you through the rejections. Mm -hmm. And one thing I want to say about rejection, you have to change your mentality. That's true. What I believe is uh, when I'm rejected um, is I'm not actually rejected. I'm being redirected to something better. So I was grateful for each interview and each rejection because I realized that it was not my door, as we were speaking about doors previously. So I still have to look for my door. That means it's something better is ahead. Thank you very much for good words. You guys are amazing. I would highly recommend to everyone to sign up and go to your meetups. Oh, meetups are incredible. And what's, what's so good about your meetups, the way you run it, that at the end of the meetup, you offer um, employers to potentially look for that's, future that's right. um, yeah, quality assurance engineers. And that's a great place to network and get a job. Yep, yep, that's true. Come into our meetups and we'll see you there. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.